Hi everyone, this is Miss Champlin. I just wanted to give you a very basic idea about what simple interest and compound interest is. Normally during the school year, we would talk about both simple interest and compound interest. Um, online, we're gonna focus on simple interest, but it's still important for you to know the difference between the two. So this is very basic, what I'm gonna give you here, but it'll at least give you an idea. So there's a few instances where interest is important for you to understand. So interest might be important if you're borrowing money and someone is charging you interest to borrow that money. So you're basically giving them more money back than you borrowed just for the inconvenience of them borrowing you your money, basically. Okay, you can also ask someone for interest whenever you were lending someone money. I mean, you might not make your best friend pay interest, you know, but let's say you have someone who you don't know very well, but you are, oops, sorry about that, but you are lending them money to lend a helping hand, right? And you want to make sure that you're compensated by interest. Um, also, if you put money into a bank, um, like a savings account, you can earn interest just for giving your business to the bank, right? They'll give you a certain percentage in interest back. Um, so then you would actually earn money that way, okay? So like if you're borrowing money, you're gonna lose money by having to pay interest. Put a little minus sign there. If you're lending someone money, you would earn money by making them pay interest. And if you're putting, putting money into a bank, um, you would also earn money by giving your business to the bank and they would give you a small percentage back on what you have. So here are the two different scenarios, simple interest versus compound interest. So I'm going to go ahead and use the scenario that we are putting money into a bank and then I can kind of talk about both ways, like if you had been borrowing the money instead and losing money for interest, right? So let's say that you're putting money into a bank and interest is calculated every month. So our x will be in months, okay? And then your y is the balance, right? The balance in the bank. All right, and I'm going to do it for both simple and compound interest just to show you the difference here. Okay? So month 0 is the day that you put your money into the bank. So let's say that you deposit $200 that you want to start earning a small amount of interest in, right? So you don't need this money anytime soon. You're gonna let it sit in a bank account or a savings account to earn interest on this money, okay? So the important thing here is that we need to know the rate, okay? So we need to know the rate. So what we call the $200 is our principal. We know $200 so far, so we'll talk about the rate, but first I wanna clarify, this is called your principal, okay? This is your starting amount. So the principal is your starting amount. So the principal over here is also your starting amount. $200. All right. So now we need to know the rate. So let's say our, our rate is 5%. That's a pretty high rate, but we'll just say it's 5%. Okay. Whenever you have a rate and you are having to calculate interest, you always need to convert it to a decimal. Always. You either move the decimal place to the, to the left two times or to get it, you just divide the five by 100. It's always out of 100%. So five divided by 100 is 0 0.05. Or you could have just moved the decimal to the left two places. So you always, always want it to be in decimal form, okay? So for simple interest, the way it works is it works on, the, in this case, it's a monthly basis. You could do it by weeks, by year. In this case, it's a monthly thing. So what we need to do in order to find the next balance, we need to multiply 200 times 0 0.05. 
we are going to be adding the 5 percent, so 0.05, of 200. Okay, so for simple interest, this is what we're going to be adding every single time. It's very, very simple. Okay, every single time. So let's calculate that. What is 0 0.05 times 200? You can do this in your calculator. You should get 10. So I'm going to be adding 10 every time. So after one month, my balance in the bank is $210. Since it's a simple interest, I'm adding that amount every time. I'm going to add 10 every single month, okay? Adding 10 every single month. So after two months, I will have $220. After three months, I'll have $230. Four months, $240, and after five months, $250, okay? Now, compound interest is more complicated. Compound complicated, you can remember it that way if you'd like. Now, to get the first month's balance, I do add the 200 times your rate. So it'd be times zero, or adding 0 0.05 times 200. Sorry, I'm a little bit smushed over here. Okay, and that is adding 10. So now I'm going to have a balance of $210. But now, compound interest means I'm compounding on top of what I already owe. Or I'm sorry, on top of what my balance already is. So right now I have $210. So now, instead of multiplying my rate by my principal, I'm going to multiply it by what I have right there. I'm going to add my rate times 210, what I have right now in the balance. So my rate times 210, I'm adding 10.5 to 210. So now for my next month, I'm going to have at two months, I'll have $220.50. So I added $10.50 on top. So over here, the first one, I only added $10 because 0 0.05 times 20 is 10. And then over here, I added $10.50 because my rate times 210 is $10.50. Okay, so... Take a moment to kind of look at that. I'm going to change, oops, sorry. I'm going to change that color because it's kind of messing with my OCD here, okay? So after one month, I have 210, two months, 222, or 220 and 50 cents, okay? Now, to get my third month's balance, I'm going to add my rate times 220.5. Sorry, I'm super out of room over here. Or $220.50, right? So if I do that, I'm going to get 11.025. So now I start getting kind of out of the sense. But what I'll be adding is 11.025 to this. So what you're going to have here, you're going to have now... $231 and about 52 cents, but I'm gonna leave that thousands place there for the five. Okay, so it's 525 thousands technically, because eventually the bank will round it, you know, once you wanna say, okay, I want that money now. But what I want us to do here, since I'm kind of out of room for the bottom, I want us to compare the amount I have at three months for simple interest, and then for compound interest, which one has more? Which one has more money? Yeah, this one right here. This one here has more. This is a higher amount. So if I am putting my money into a bank and I have the option between simple interest and compound interest at the exact same principal and the same rate, you want to choose the compound interest to make money. 
okay? If you're investing your money with a bank, you want to choose compound interest because you will make more money. If I kept on going for a long time, it will become even more of um, a difference in the amount. So like you notice here at two months, right? 220 to $220.50, that's not a huge difference, right? If you compare these two, right? But at three months, it's a dollar and 50 cents more approximately. So it'll continue to increase in the amount that the difference is. However, if you had to owe someone money, right? If you had to owe money on something and you are having to pay back all of this interest that's being added in addition to the amount that you borrowed from someone, which would be the principal, you would want to go with simple interest because here you are adding on the exact same amount every single month, right? And the amount is the rate or the percentage of your principal. But compound interest, you are adding on the amount, the current amount that you would owe every single month. So that amount's going to get bigger as interest is adding on. And if you have to multiply your rate by the bigger amount, you are going to have to owe them so much more money in the long run than if you were able to choose something with simple interest. Okay, so this you might be like, what in the world is she talking about? But this is just the general idea, I highly recommend that you look up more videos on simple versus compound interest. I just wanted to create a very quick one, kind of talking about what you would have learned. This is real life stuff. I have to take out a loan to finance my car. If I ever buy a home, I'm going to have to take out a mortgage and that I'm going to have to pay interest on. Um, I invest my money in a savings account that earns just a small amount of interest, but it's something um, my retirement right? I'm putting money into retirement to be able to live, you know, on some funds once I retire from teaching. And I'm earning interest on that. So the more money I have in retirement, the more money I'm earning in interest. So they're, they're basically rewarding me with money for investing and saving my money for retirement. Okay, so these are very, very important ideas for real life situations. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create some problems that are just on simple interest, okay? So I'm gonna add a different video, so it's not one long video. This one was just talking about the difference between the two. Find the other video for specific problems that you're gonna see on your quiz and your final on simple interest. Have a great evening or day, whatever it is, whenever you watch this. Bye-bye.